John, obviously, Alexander Wenberg is back with the club today. Did you have a chance to see much of his skating and assess where you think he is right now? No, I didn't watch him. Uh, I'm just glad he's in camp. Uh, I, it was out of his control. Uh, I know he's been doing his work on his own, but it's just good to get him back in camp and uh, uh, with the team and, and doing the things we're doing. Can you talk to your guys? Or is there any, any way you can prepare them for how the league is cracking down on the slashing and the faceoffs like everyone has seen the last? Well, we're, yeah, we're going to meet with uh, uh, the officials are going to come in tonight okay. uh, with our team the next two nights to explain some of the face-off face -off stuff uh, and the infractions and all that. It's been called quite frequently, as we've seen here. So uh, yeah, we'll get a little bit of a lesson. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve as yeah. we go through exhibition. But I'm glad they're coming in uh, these first two games just to explain some things so we can hear it. I don't think – have they done that with, with teams around the league, or, or is that – I don't know. I don't know. I talked to Paul Devo. Paul De yeah. Dvorsky is, I think, is going to be here tonight. He, yeah. him, and I talked yesterday. So I asked him if we, they could come in around six, yeah. just so we get an explanation and, and start working at the yeah. things. And this is one of those things where certain the, the, the rules have been there. It's not yeah. changing the rules. They've just been allowed to change the slashing, just putting your stick yeah. on somebody. And yeah. Are you cool with all this? Do you like this, or is it? Well, I'm I'm anxious here myself. I'm anxious to see how it's going to be called. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't matter what I think about it. We're we're gonna have to figure out how the league is calling it and abide by it. Forty one slashes last night. Yeah, so, yeah, it's frightening. It's frightening. Do you have much in the way of conversation with a guy like Winberg when he's gone? Just keeping nope. him in. No. Nope. Said hello to him. It's good <laughs> to see him. What do you hope to see out Pierre Luke tonight playing on the line with with Nick and Panarin? Well, I, I hope he plays well. I mean, we're uh, all these guys that are playing are uh, Pierre Luke is fighting for a job, and uh, we're trying to give him an offensive opportunity. And uh, the, the the key for him is I don't want him to be afraid to make a mistake. I don't, I don't want him to really worry and concentrate. I have to play just top notch defense. I want him to express himself offensively and take some chances and, and allow his game to go in that direction. Uh, if we can get him playing in that direction, we'll teach him the other part. So that, that's a big part of, of what his camp is about this year. John, are you behind the bench tonight, or are you going to watch the game? I'm going to watch it upstairs. Who's behind the bench? Johnny Madden and Mac. Yeah, yeah, the American League coaching staff, they'll run the bench. Uh, yeah, so they'll, they'll be there. Is it just more beneficial for you to, again, see these players in action and continue to yeah. assess? Yeah, if I want to make a true assessment, uh, you, you just don't see everything uh, behind the bench. Uh, I, I know with me, I get wrapped up in the game itself, and, and uh, I want to be able to watch uh, Pierre-Luc, uh, a number of guys as we go through these games and give them a fair look, not just at practices and scrimmage games, but at really the, the real stuff in exhibition season.